Hey guys, uh, so today I'm going to talk to you about something a little bit different. Um, as you may know, we've been working on uh, the ARJS project lately. So it's basically efficient augmented reality for the web. And I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to play around with it um, on your phone in only 10 lines of HTML. So this is a post that we wrote for Medium and it's describing a line by line, step by step, um, all the code that we're going to use. So if you come back to the beginning here, you have the link to CodePen. We're going to go there. Loading. Way wonderful. I'm here. So we're going to minimize all the tabs that you are not going to use and just expand the code a little bit like that so you can see what I'm doing. So we have a very basic example of this box. You can see it on the screen. So what's going on here? Um, the first line is a frame as usual. Uh, we bring it to our to our code bit example. The second line is the ARJS component that we're going to use for A-frame. And the third line here is basically telling it, it telling it where, where the source is located. And this will be used to bring the different assets like uh, the description of the marker or the camera calibration. So let's go to the second step, uh, which is defining the body. So defining the body, it's business as usual. Your body will contain, here you go, yeah, it will contain the scene and the elements of the scene itself. So uh, you will define the body as you will for any other HTML page. Uh, and then you start creating your scene. You can't forget uh, to specify that you're using AR Toolkit. You can see it there. Um, and that it's reading the webcam. So this will launch ARJS in the background and it will track the position of the marker in space. So that's where you're going to display your 3D on top of it. Um, then you add your element, like for example, in this case, the box that we, that we are seeing. Um, and the position here of the center of the marker is, uh, we've made it 0, 0, 0. Uh, if you want to display the object on top of it, you have to specify a position of 0 0.5 on the y-axis. Um, and then you can just change that. Like for example, if I don't want a box, I want a sphere, a, a, a sphere, and instead of that material there, of the capacity material, I want some color, and it's going to be a blue color. Up, um, it loads. Yeah, and you have that very ugly sphere instead of the box that we had before. Um, and the final step here is the camera. So you're going to put a preset hero. Uh, you can change that if you have another type of marker. I have like a kanji marker, so I can change that. And I will still have my object displayed. Even though I don't know if you see it, it's not the hero marker. It would no longer be displayed here. Um, so you are basically going to tell it to move according to the position of the marker to where it's going that you're seeing through the webcam. So that's all very simple. Uh, that's Those are the 10 lines of HTML. And you can basically bring whatever you want into the scene. Uh, if we go look for our previous example, this one here of the earth, um, we can bring the earth and show it in AR. Uh, so we are just going to copy and paste the sphere um, and we come back here and instead of this sphere here we're going to replace it by our earth and oop, it's a little too big we're just gonna reduce the radius to 0 0.5 and just we're going to change the position um, as I explained before, um, to the position of the marker so it can be displayed on top of it and not go through it. Up. It's good. It's loading. And there you go. It's smaller and it's displayed on top of the marker instead. So let me show you that um, in a different mode. So let me show you the other mode real quick. We're going to go into live view and I don't know if you guys can see there so we're going to just take the phone and copy the URL as we've done before and you can see when we reload there <laughs> the earth in on top of the of our AR marker. Uh, we can see it in AR through our phone with ARJS and it's only 10 lines of HTML.
Enjoy, guys. Thanks.